Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a special request from Ibram Gaunt, who wanted me to do the Full Armor 7th Gundam in his personal colors and only use three weapons. The large uh, beam cannon, which I'm charging now, the, uh, uh, the missiles, and the uh, grenades. So that is kind of a tall order. Hammerby fired on me. I, it just... Uh, my shield did take the shot for me. It moved fast enough. I was not able to uh, do much to it. But uh, the good news with this particular challenge is that Hammerbees are, well, they're a horrible thing to be fighting. But once they come in on me, I can do a lot of damage. Because even with type disadvantage, ballistic weapons are what they're weak to. As I was possibly saying yesterday, depending on whether or not I do ultimately decide to run that video. Um, the, uh, yeah. As you can see, low ballistic defense means that even the 7th Gundam can, with its leg missiles and its arm grenades, can do pretty good damage. I'm heading up to E, because since the big gun is not in play right now, I need to be moderately close to really do some good. Missiles and grenades can hit from here, but the closer you are, it seems like, within reason, the uh, better they uh, do. It's... You can't get too close with the missiles. They do have a little bit of a, an arc to them, so you can't get you have I can't get right on somebody to use them most of the time. But you can get fairly close, and if you're really close, the grenades do okay. It has a bunch of other weapons. It has beam rifles and I believe a wrist beam gun. And yeah, I just again because of the challenge, you will not see me use any of them. Uh, fairly good damage. Knocked the Humber be out of the sky. I don't have anything to tag it with right now. But I'm gonna... It's gonna be going for me, probably, because, yep, because I am the weakest thing here. And luckily, I lucked out because this is a team of randoms, but I have gotten a really responsive team of randoms that is doing a wonderful job of uh, backing me up and keeping me alive. And if you were on the team, thank you. This was... I did not expect to do as good a job with this uh, challenge as I wound up doing. It's not gonna be an outstanding round, but I am not bringing the team down, I don't think, and I am, and we, I do believe, win it. So, I think those are pretty good qualities. So, that's what we're going to go with. Just waiting to get the big gun charged. I can land a really great shot with it with the way things are lined up if I can just get it charged, which takes forever. Okay, there's that Zero Shiki. There is the other 7th Gundam. Tag two things, one for 12,000, one for 9,400. Such is the power of the big beam gun. So yeah, I am I am at least putting in work. I am I am doing a decent amount of damage to things. As you can see, you can hit the Humber for a mile off. One thing that will knock things out of the sky, uh, besides enough ballistic damage, is tackles. Unfortunately, Humber used those beam guns on me, which are tremendously strong, and just wore me down to nothing before it crashed into me. So I did, I think, knock it down, but also died. We've captured E, we've got a good lead, two minutes left before the ace is selected, it's not a bad setup. Um, yeah, it's something interesting that came up, I may have mentioned it in a previous video, but again, mind like a steel sieve. Um, Heavy Arm, Silver Lightning, uh, discovered that uh, one of the developers of Battle Operation 2 said, in Japanese of course on Twitter, but said that... Uh, Oops, got Humber Beam from the side. I'm going to tackle right off that mountain. But uh, it said that the low cost of the Humber Bee's, uh, transformation was intentional. Managed to kill it before it killed me. That's one of the reasons I decided to keep this round, be is because, yeah, I am actually killing the Humber Bees before they can kill me, or trading good shots with them most of the time, and that's a real trick in a 7th Gundam. They are super weak to those things. But yeah, so the, the low boost cost on the Humber Beast transformation is intentional, because it is, it, it's, its lore, of course, is that it is very, it transforms very easily because it's got a very simple mechanism. It just kind of bends over backwards, and that's it. So that's, that's why, that's why it's so cheap to transform and it, it consumes so little boost. I was interest. I was kind of fascinated and confused as to why that was tr not transformation level two, but then they, of course, the double Zeta Gundam leaked, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be transformation level two. Missed the Humberbee by a mile. Would have been better uh, going for that seventh Gundam or something else more stationary. Kind of 
kind of got fixated on the idea, oh, I can fight a, uh, uh, if I can fight a Humber being a support, I'm doing great, but no, go, go where you can do the most good. Um, GPO3 is our ace, that's not a bad thing. Uh, threw some missiles, didn't do any good, they're all kind of moving in on the team, so I'm going to get a little closer and hopefully provide some support. Um, let's battle the Hombrebees out there. Time to target the ace. Missed with everything. Don't have anything left to use, so it's kind of useless until I uh, get to a better position and have my, uh, my reloads finished. I really, really should be uh, uh, should be using the other weapons, but I again, that's the challenge, so that's what we're going with. And like I said, I don't think I'm doing badly, and I think the team itself is doing all right, so no... No real harm or, nor foul here, hopefully. But yeah, we're doing all right. Hit that, and it's a zero Shiki there. Let's see. If I get close enough to the ace, I can probably do something, but that means getting close enough to the other seventh Gundam, which of course is not so re uh, as restrained as I am. And of course, there's a Hamba being play somewhere too, so I need to be careful. Enemy ace, got a couple of shots off. Running low on health, best to focus the ace, I think, so that's what I'm going to do. I am out of viable weapons. Big gun is almost charged, but I need a few moments of peace to charge it. Our ace has been destroyed. This is starting to look not good. Man, I thought we won this one. I hope we do. The big gun is ready, so now I'm going to try and... No, I'm not, because there's zero shiki on my case. But I've got grenades to throw at it. Landed a few, got missiles to uh, add with it. There's Zeta helping me out. And if we can kill that Zero Shiki, I've got a great, great ish shot on their ace from here. So that's what I'm probably going to uh, aim for. This is not a good place to charge. Any place where I can hopefully hit once I stand up is good. Again, I like to crouch when I'm charging just to keep a lower profile, be harder to see, and also hide the glow of my charging so I can obscure what I'm doing, ideally. That's what I'm going for here. 50 seconds left. They've got a lead. If I can land the shot on the ace, we'll be doing great. But I cannot. I did not. I think I blew up a shield, but that's all I did. That's not great. So that, of course, is the problem with charging the gun, especially if you get killed immediately after, is the fact that if you've wasted a lot of time if you don't land that shot. Enemy ace has been destroyed. Our ace is okay, I think, and... Yeah, we're going to win this. 20 seconds left to go. 15,000 score. I am not going to have a chance to respawn. But, or at least not for long enough to actually do anything productive. But, we're again, we're going to win it. And I'd say I contributed a fair amount. Not the best, but considering my restrictions, I'd say pretty good. So that's, again, uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to get as a good a you know, confluence of conditions for this again, because, again, just getting a team that's actually backing you up is everything in, the, in a support to begin with, so, yeah. So, yeah, I did not make top score in anything, but I did okay. And 43,000 damage, which probably about half of that was, uh, was that one sh uh, Mega Beam uh, shot I hit. But, yeah. That is the round. Hope you enjoyed it, Ibram, and that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Yeah, that was a really kind of a, a kind of a tough one, but I again, I think I did okay, and it's the only winning round I got with this configuration, so I think it turned out alright.